now speaking of the trainees, they're trying to say that that lady over there in the Olympics was a trainee. But it goes back to what you always what say. What is this? Transgender boxer advances? That's what the, that's what they put. That's originally. the headline. Yeah, that was what they put at the when headline. the real e true Hollywood gagging story is. She's not trans. That it's a woman. Yeah. The the reason the problem is was and I don't, I'm not even gonna say problem. The, pro the, the, the thing the, was that she has high levels of te testosterone. testosterone in her body. You do know that men and women have testosterone in it. I think that people forget this. You ain't never seen a woman with a full beard and a mustache. Yeah, the PCOS. My mama got some beard on her chin. What well, you got? She do. I be want to take my name, like mama. Let me get this right here. <laughs> let me get this, mama. With the tweezers. This, no, no. Uh, with clippers. No, no. What? No, with a, a razor. With a Mach five. <laughs> <laughs> with a big six. Mama, come on, let me get this right here, bro. You ain't shit, man. I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> this lady is a lady. It's a lady. She yeah. was born female. Mm -hmm. But it goes back to what you always say. What'd you say? Transphobia, Transphobia affects, affects all, all women. women. And, you know, they always argue me down about that trans transphobia only affects transsexuals. And I'm like, girl, you listen. Until you experience it. And I talk about countless mm -hmm. times how women... And I've talked about the part that I have played in uh, transphobia where, you know, there are times when I'm reading a bitch, I say transphobic shit. Mm -hmm. Am I right for it? No, mm -hmm. I'm not. Y'all heard that, right? Right. You hear, you hear the accountability. Right, right, right. I have tried my best to refrain from getting into those spills of saying transphobic mm -hmm. shit to a bitch that's just trainees like me. Uh -huh. But bitch, when it's up, it's up for me. I'm sorry. I'm not finna follow rule, rules, regulations, and yeah. guidelines when it's up for me. I'm trying to be politically correct. No, I'm not. And that's the problem is that they want to police me about how to respond to shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But it's not happening. I, maybe one day I'll get better. <laughs> but today ain't the day. If you a bitch that tried me and I tear your ass up, bitch, and you, you a trainee like me, I'm going to tell you to wash your nuts off. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can't say that. I'll give for what and, you can't and, say. And I wouldn't say that. I'm a, I'm gonna tell you I don't give a fuck what you can't say. Because right. as for me, I'm gonna talk about my nuts and yours too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if she's had them removed? Well, put, take those nuts from inside and wipe them bitches <laughs> off, <laughs> and come back and holler at me, pussy ass motherfucking nigga. So I don't. I'm going. I'm from Florida, and that doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it. I'm I'm not sitting here justifying the things, but that is a part of it. A transphobia is is intentionally serving and Mister and doing yeah, yeah. And, you know intentionally doing those things he, when you him. DM, yeah like intentionally and doing it with vitriol behind yeah. it like the rest of those girls trying to be, be malicious malicious like those girls that terrorize me to be trying to do that stuff but see what they don't understand is that that I'm I'm a real nigga mm -hmm. and that shit I'm built different I'm from a time before time yeah well yeah. we got in the paint with shit like that that shit they ain't, I'm. You're not, you really making yourself look like what you is, and that mm -hmm. shit don't mean nothing to me. That's why it's easy for me to regurgitate it, because right. it don't mean nothing to me. You feel me? Which I'm trying to get better at it meaning something to me, right. so that I don't do it. Now, y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard me say that. Is that, a, is that, is that, is that yeah. Kind of accountability? Yeah, that's it. Is that a call accountability? Yeah. Okay, I took accountability for it. When I used to say, Wendy, Wendy of Bartholomew Orenthal, I I didn't think that that was anything that's transphobic, but the people that deemed the transphobic, so I stopped. Yeah, yeah. I stopped doing it. Y'all hear that, right? So that when y'all bringing that back up to justify, you know, right. a, a, X, Y, and Z, I, I, there we go. I done did it. All right. Now, let's talk about how the people, that lady was talking about, the faggots. Remember that spent that girl? Who was that? It was the white girl, and I said it had music behind it. Yeah, we couldn't play yeah, it. Yeah, I couldn't play it because it has music behind yeah, it. Yeah, but isn't she like a star or something like that? Yeah. Uh, and it was like so many people were so ready to run with all the misinformation on this on this person. This girl. Well, I will say that, to be honest with you, yeah, and it Valentina actually Gomez. came, to be honest with you, send it actually came too. from this, the, this boxer. This yeah, but boxer it has right here uh -huh. is the one that was, fi was fighting the... So, uh, quote unquote, trans woman. No, off. she's a woman. No, no, no. I'm saying, I know she's a woman. I'm saying her corner, the people that were with her, were uh -huh. the ones that really put that out there. 
uh-huh. because she got hit so motherfucking hard. And no, even before the fight, she was saying that they were telling her, you know, you don't have to fight. You don't have to fight this trans woman if you don't want to. Mm-hmm. But the woman was like, no, she'll still fight her. Mm-hmm. So the, the notion of her being trans <laughs> right. came from these people. Right. And so next, you know, after she gave up because the other woman hit so hard, that's when they started really coming out with the woodwork saying, oh, this woman is trans. They're saying trans. in the comments, and yeah. I don't know if this is true. But we don't know if it's true, but they're saying in the comments that she's intersex. Inter- Meaning she was born with, with both with genitalia. Both. Like it, that, that is a thing that people are intersex born with both genitalia, but she leaned more to female. Maybe maybe the male genitalia was smaller and the, and the pussy was big. You know, who knows? So my thing about it is, did you put that bitch in there? I haven't got what bitch? This bitch right here. No, we didn't. It's in the text mode. This one, but remember, oh, I said, it had music in there. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Melinda said this said the high levels of testosterone. Hold on, the high levels of testosterone. <clears throat> affect the muscle growth and bone density it's like a teenage boy boxing a six-year-old girl it's just unfair nothing to do with her being intersex uh-uh you can't play it mo no, no, you just got to get the screenshot. Screenshot. screenshot yeah um well we get that but what we're trying to dispel here is that that is that she's male because she's not male no, she's not she's not male she's again she's not male no, because in especially with women boxers, they actually have to do testing. Oh, they uh-huh. saying they she's not in. T- they saying that she's not testing. intersex either. So she's female. She's yeah, just a strong they, ass motherfucking bitch. They show pictures of her as a little as a girl. Little girl. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's okay. They saying she's cisgender. I'm not saying that right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they say she was born female, and she's not intersex. Yeah. That's right. They saying that she's a woman, so why is it not fair? Like, bitch, you, 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 you know, get in there with a bitch your weight class. Right, that sound like some sore loser. Yeah, you seen a big motherfucking hoe when you got in the ring, bitch. You saw that big hoe. You pussy brought you a bat in there, and not only or a stick. But the, I, because I did a lot of research on the woman that was accusing her of being yeah. trans, the boxer. She gives up on all of her fights. She mm-hmm. gets into a ring with somebody that she knows she can't beat. And then she ends up giving up. Well, she make, needs to find a new profession. Extent. Oh, so this all started. And, and you know, people were so quick to run with this. I know. And and one thing that Dominique Morgan said the other day that I thought was very profound. She says, all you hoes that be sitting around, I'm, I'm going to interpret what she said. Uh-huh. She didn't use these terms. Right. You, I, you, I, I, I'm in, yeah, yeah. I'm paraphrasing. And adding a little. All juice. you motherfucking hoes that fail biology, <laughs> that skip biology. That ain't even go to school to learn nothing about by motherfucking ology. All you pussy ass hoes that rally behind women uh, or, or tear women down on any given day, now y'all done regrouped and grouped together to try to tear this girl down because you think that she's trans. Kind of the same thing when they were when they jumped on my neck when I said that the woman that did this did, did that situation to uh, that killed Shanquilla Robinson. Mm-hmm was not trans they were trying to push that narrative that that was a trans woman that did right that. right and everybody was up and up i went through weeks of that because i said well one of her own did it to her shankula was the girl for those of you who may not remember was the girl who went on vacation with her friends and they mexico. beat her up and they, they went to mexico they beat, beat her up and they ended up killing her so they love to get together and they love to, to to rally behind and be like oh well you know bitch, you hoes can't stick together until it's some faggot shit. This just speaks to the to the to the deep rooted disdain that they have, yeah. and, and don't even understand why you have this deep rooted disdain for something that's like that's not like yourself. Mm-hmm. And the the gag of the matter is that when I was watching this, people were tagging me so much on the internet, tagging me, tagging me, tagging me, tagging me. I wouldn't even I, I was busy and I couldn't respond. Mm-hmm. But I watched that shit, and I just watched how so many people and how the blogs. This is why I don't give a fuck about being posted on the blog because they never come clear anything up. Yeah, they don't. They'll put the shit out and just let the shit run. Yep. Even when they're wrong, they Even just Even when they're wrong, they'll never come clear the shit up. Never do that because they they don't like the fuck. they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. And my thing is 
there are women who are more nigger than niggas. No shade. Mm -hmm. That ain't a lot. There are more women who are stronger than motherfucking men. <clears throat> there are women out there. None of them came back and, and truly refuted that that no. woman was born female. Well, because they're not journalists. They're not. Mm -mm. And they don't give a fuck. You know, a journalist, any journalist that's worth their salt is looking for the truth. They're looking for the truth. And you don't even know how that could have affected that woman that y'all just that y'all are putting these narratives on her and how people are going to come and approach her because people were just saying, oh, that man is a cheater. Mm -hmm. That man did this. That man couldn't all be the real, that lady men. So she had to. So he had to go to a woman's sport. Yes. To all lady. week long, that lady had to endure being called a man, being hated. Yep. Trying to have to go around here and prove that she has a you because according to y'all, this and this is what was so crazy, right? Mm -hmm. This is where I want to challenge the, the, the bitches. According to y'all, a woman has well, according to science as well, but according to y'all who try to be shady, this woman has a uterus, she has ovaries, she has the ability to menstruate. And y'all still was sitting up here saying this woman is a man, even though y'all knew that, even though y'all found, even when y'all found out that this woman has a uterus, the ability to have to birth children through character in her womb and menstruate. Mm. And so, and so my okay. thing is, my. Mm, I'm what? sorry, I was going to say because they even say that. It's illegal. In, I don't know this, but they say Algeria. It's in Algeria. Yeah, I heard and that. That's where she's from. So she's, imagine if she had, if they, that narrative ran. Yeah, she went and back then she home. went back home and they killed her. And they yeah, imagine that. So let the comment. Let the comment. Oh, sorry. So my thing is, I don't be understanding y'all. You can. God, I'm trying not to. I'm trying. I ain't trying to dance, Craig. Mm -hmm. But I'm also trying not to be. Where they clip this shit and then make it me like I'm mm -hmm. like I feel like I'm anti woman, right? But I'm anti bitches that be trying to always use their pussy as a motherfucking weapon, or 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 sit up on their pussy and then it's a motherfucker with a pussy. Y'all being transphobic too, and don't want to take no accountability for. Mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You just told us that we'll never be, but we never is, but she is one. And y'all still <laughs> pushing that narrative. Pushing that narrative on this woman. Yeah. But you know what? But it's kind of similar in that a lot of the you yeah, put what Lauren said up. A lot of Hold the on. attacks okay. and hate that Kamala Harris has received has been from women. It's been from women. Yeah, but we're not going to Kamala yet. No, we, I know. I'm just saying that, that it has they're very similar. So I would like to stop by since we're in this area to, to make people really understand why we just had another trans woman that was killed here in uh what what is this? Dallas? Is this Dallas, Texas? Houston or Dallas? I don't know. It's in Texas. A Texas woman was just murdered. Her name was Vixen. Um, I got the tea Friday that um uh from what I from the rumors that I've heard, I've heard that it was a gentleman that she's um that was a regular gentleman caller for her. Mm. And they found her body by the elevator. I think this I heard that she was on on spaces. Oh wow. What is that? Like Twitter spaces that she was uh, on, oh. on, on spaces, and then they um uh, she got a call and she was meeting the, the gentleman down at the elevator, and I and they said that he had on a ski mask or something. But this is somebody that a gentleman she was that regular, a regular, yeah, like that for her to feel comfortable enough to go down there to get him from the elevator. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just for me, I'm just to the space with men and people, and like I don't creep around with niggas. I'm just not open with 
who I'm dating because I, I already know. Look at look at the icons and the things that they that the icons are going through. And <laughs> what quick no, it's no me. I'm being real. <laughs> like look at this stuff. Like they want <laughs> they want they terrorize this lady because of this man that she's with. Who are you talking about? The icons? Yes. That is not why they terrorize her. And other things, but that's definitely one of the things. Mostly that, other things. That, 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 but that's definitely what made the things what the things are because of this person that she's with. I'm not putting my partner through that. I'm not ever putting my partner through any of that. I don't even know if they partners, but go ahead. But that's not my Craig. I don't care. <laughs> Still, I'm not putting my partner through anything like that. Like, so if y'all could forever think that I'm single, no man don't want me. I'm fat. I'm not. It's me, bitch. It's Bitch, I'm the cloud. So it's me that's not going to be for with, with my partner because that's not, I just don't want that to be a thing. Right. And so obviously this gentleman was a regular of hers from my understanding, mm -hmm. from the little bits and pieces that I've gathered since Friday. Right. That that he was a, a was a regular of hers. So she felt comfortable enough to go downstairs mm -hmm. and then she was murdered. This is my thing. I'm so sick. have they found the guy? I don't know. I have to. I have to. I have to investigate some more. But this is my thing, right? I want the girls. I just really want the girls to get into a space where this is why I'm opening a starter house. This I is, have a question for you. This Go is ahead. the reason why that I'm very much so want on the starter house. I think that there should be a system. In which we, which we, which is probably out there. I don't know. I'm not in the sex work industry anymore. I'm, I'm out of that. Mm -hmm. But even when I was in it, I just feel like that there should have, there should most definitely be a, a, a red, a phone number registry, a photograph registry, a thing like whatever secret registry it should be for these gentlemen that be fucking around with us. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I feel that, you know. Well, that's, that's something that you could initiate. Like a database. Yeah, like yeah. bitch, load your date. Load your data. If especially if it goes left. Well, just blow them up, period. Like this nigga, you know what I'm saying? And then everybody, but then you also got these girls who um, who again who weaponize themselves being trans to be like, you know, well, because like that girl who I felt some type of way who went on that podcast and she was talking about that she was fucking Kevin Gates. And she ain't tell him that she was no trans until he was eating her her pussy, and then she's decided to want to tell him then because he was like, "What well, was you know?" He was like, "Oh, while he was down there, yeah." I watched her on that podcast, and I'm like, "So, girl, well, I why don't the what? Let me ask this: Why don't the trainees attack that kind of tra trainee right. when they do stuff like that?" Well, because I think a lot of girls have their own their own reasons, and and uh, there was some backlash. So, like, so there was no, there well, was I no. I got backlash for talking about that too from some of the trainees because they felt like, well, why do we still have to? And I don't believe in protecting no DL men. Well, why all. do we still have to what? Well, why do we have to not 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 get on get? Why do we have to be silent about? And I, I and I'm saying it's not about you being silent about who you're dealing with. It's about it's about the fact that it matter if you if you a woman. Mm. And you dealing with a man? Why all of a sudden now you gonna come out? You're a trainee now. But I thought you were a woman. But I'm just asking. Like since we've been doing this show, and Kevin, I saw your comment too. I'm not hateful towards Miss Netta or the icons or anybody else. I need you to do better with your words. Um, what my question is, the trainees often want to come to you and say, "Well, you know, you're transphobic, or you're doing this." Uh -huh. da, da, da. Why don't they come together and form together like Voltron when that trainee who had Kevin Gates eating her pussy, why don't they go, go after that trainee and say, listen, girl, we need to be better about stuff like this. That was not cool. Why, why isn't it? Why, well, I why? did. But I'm saying, well, where are the rest of them? I don't know. And I don't really, I'm not really concerned about what the rest of them, rest of them is because I've, 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 I just feel like this accountability bus is lopsided. What they place on me? It's so it's lopsided. It's selective. Like it's we selective. Talk, it's, it's selective. It depends on who you are. Right. And I've even seen some of the trainees coming after you on Twitter. And then I look at their page and girl, it's giving. Right. And you see me light them up too. Right. And it's giving. They're coming after you about responsibility and accountability. And they all on 
Twitter doing the things of the things. Well, here's the thing. Well, so I guess they don't hold themselves to the same standard. Well, well, here's the thing that I've that I've that I've come to my conclusion on, which is exactly why I will continue to do exactly what I want to do whenever I want to do it. Mm. Just like currently, right now, there's a punk online that's you know carrying on, and I'm he missed it and all this stuff, which is fine. It's okay. Meet and greets are always available. <laughs> but <laughs> when they see all of this and they people sending me that. Mm -hmm. Why nobody, why they not in the outrage about that? About him saying this stuff. And it's stuff okay. About I want to let this be known. I don't need y'all hoes help. Mm -hmm. I get in the paint with punks, fist sisters, dykes, bull daggers, faggots, trannies, all of it. I get in the paint. I don't need y'all help. Right. But what I don't need y'all to do when I be lashing on their ass, don't come telling me I'm transphobic or or, or, right. or, or homophobic or dysphobic when, when I'm when I'm in defense mode. Against right. Me. So I don't come trying to tell me I should be tapped on my shoulder because I use punk sissy fat. No, bitch. Because y'all don't be there. I don't see y'all rounding together like Voltron. Yeah. You know, trying to handle that. And I don't need your help. Right. I'm good. Right. I just don't need y'all telling me to hold, to try to hold me motherfucker to a standard. Yeah. Hold me right. to a standard of how to respond. Because mm -hmm. I'm usually in a, re I'm usually in a responding matter. I'm never in a, I'm never there. Is it Right. Protagonist. I'm never the protagonist. In that instance, yeah. I'm never the protagonist. Yeah. Because man, I'll even say this. If you if you were the one that came up, if you were the one that said that story, dude, he would you would have heard comments like, you see, that's why you gotta watch out for them. They're gonna trick you, they're gonna do this. I didn't I didn't hear anything. Honestly, I didn't hear any no backlash when it came to what that uh that trans woman said about Kevin Gates. I heard no, no back. Except for me. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, I was reading yeah. her because right. I just felt like, you know, and then it was some girls that came that came forth and say, um, well, we should be able to tell to talk about who the fuck we fucking with and it's an other. I'm like, but if he hasn't came forth, right, what and and told that he's fucking with y'all. What's the reason why that you need to be the one doing? Mm -hmm. what, what makes you? Mm -hmm. What makes you have to be the person to do that? Mm -hmm. right. So again, and this is uh, this is this. I don't want to circumvent and take this off of because I don't know. Does that what happened with a well, Vixen's situation? Yeah, I just know that from what I heard is that this was someone that Vixen felt comfortable with enough to go downstairs and meet them at the elevator. I just feel like that that in this day and time with the way shit is i feel like there should be a and, and they were trying to do this some somewhat before like create a database or whatever but i think there should be a database or whatever so that we could trace these motherfucking niggas down yeah and then just so there's a there's a criminal record for the police mm -hmm. a resource for the police yeah so that we don't so it don't have to be you know we want to track these niggas motherfucking down and 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 really put put work in on them, right? You know what I'm saying? And so it's just it's just a lot, mm -hmm. and it's so sad. And and she was she was young, she was 32. Somebody said there is a database. It's called Mister Number. Well, bitch, listen, that shit need to be updated every five minutes. Lavish, that shit need to be updated every five minutes. Right. Caleb, I said it was the protagonist. They want to say that it was the antagonist. Every, every time, every <laughs> single time that there's that, that the phone rang, a day come, like them dates numbers need to be programmed in a date rate just in case so that we can cross reference or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's too many unsolved things and people, these niggas be at home, sit right at home watching this shit and they come do that with the, with the, with the notion in their heart. Oh, ain't nobody thinking about them. They training. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm just putting the ski mask on so that you can't catch me. But bitch, I'm going home and I'm gonna sit up with my feet crossed up. Right. I mean, I just think that that's so bizarre, though. Like, if this was like a regular person that she was meeting, like, what what happened with him that he would turn like that? You know what I mean? Like, I that's bizarre. Well, you know, they say the when it comes to crimes, especially situations like that, is always somebody. It's usually somebody, it's usually somebody you know. that you know. Yeah. Right. Correct. Like, For her to feel comfortable you know. right. enough. This why I don't have all. I don't. I go to bed at nine, maybe ten. Mm -hmm. I don't really fuck trade in the middle of the night because I don't really have. I've 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 closed my roster down. I've narrowed my roster all the way down so so viciously. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? It, and it is because of stuff like this, you know. Right. Yeah. And uh, 
You said maybe he got caught. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't. And you puss ass fuck niggas that be fucking the girls, and then y'all jump on videotape with the girls sucking dick and getting in the looking looking in the in the motherfucking mirror, the, the video camera, sucking dick, getting fucked and doing all this stuff, and then you run your bitch ass down there and you want you could somebody to say, Oh my god, I seen the video. I used to go through shit like that when I was big dick bitch.com. Mm -hmm. I used to go through shit like that where nigga be like be so be so driven with lust and they don't they don't win and sign their whole life away. Right. You got the ID. You got their social security card. You got the whole thing. Oh, I don't. Oh my God! Somebody saw the video, bitch. What you think? Right. <laughs> what did you think? What the fuck did you think was gonna happen? And you puss ass fuck niggas get in these spaces in there. Y'all know y'all be fucking and sucking and doing all this type of shit and living your living your ultimate fantasy, living your ultimate motherfucking fantasy behind. Doing whatever it is that y'all want to do with the girls, and then all of a sudden, now nah, bitch done caught you, or bitch done, done or or a nigga that done that doing the same shit you do, done be like, oh dog, look, oh my god, right? Because you know that happened. Yeah, you know that happened. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, the question I was going to ask you though, because I know you have friends that you know that still dibble and dabble in sex, sex work or uh -huh. that's their profession are you ever concerned like there's something may, like they may be a victim like this i'm always concerned especially for my daughters like my daughters my nieces and shit like that that are still in the business wow. and especially the way that things have advanced and the way that that they use everything that happens with us as a political ploy mm -hmm. or, or or they find a way to weave us into some way to make us the villains. Because, mm -hmm. like, you know, I was just curious, like, because, like, social media is a big thing now. It wasn't so much when you were doing Big Dick Bitch, right? Uh-huh. Where you had Instagram and you could geotag and do all that stuff. So I noticed, like, a lot of them will put, like, what city they're in, you know, I guess to let people know that they're coming. So, like, if they, I guess if they want to book service uh-huh but that also can be a, a safety concern you know what i'm saying i mean it's it's just where we are right where, where we are with where it. people just will know where you are especially like if they're showing like the hotel room and you know what i mean well, like i don't think that they do that i just think that they post i mean that. i've seen it i don't i don't oh wait a minute six six pretty barb said a chaser kidnapped me in la wow tried kidnapping um, Barry uh, P says, as a man who lives, oh, I can't see that far. As a man who lives in truth, I like men, women. Wait, bring it back down. Oh, right there. I can't see it because of the camera. Right here, right, right, right here. Oh, shit. As a man who lives in truth, I like men, women, trans women, and men. If you're DL, you can't speak to me. I don't play those games. I'm not one of them. All right, Barry. We appreciate you for that. We appreciate you for that. Now, what's a chaser? Um, a chaser is this like girl that'll come in and eat it all, but eat it all. All the just gonna have everybody. Don't, oh. I, ain't, I ain't got no type. Everybody, right. everything is a bad bitch. Oh, everything, everything is a bad bitch. Everything, pansexual. 